Today on Horseland, Chloe, Zoe. When Chloe and Zoe post exciting but inaccurate stories on the Horseland website, their exaggerations could cause Horseland to be closed down forever. All our hard work and nobody appreciates it. Come on, where? Bailey was raking leaves! And Angora thinks they're deep enough to jump in! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I love to jump in the leaves! You told Teeny it was deep enough. Yeah. Not nice, Angora. Hey, I said I thought they were deep enough. I didn't lie. No, but you stretch the truth, and that can cause serious trouble. Remember when Chloe and Zoe almost ruined Horseland forever? Yes, Shep. I mean, no, Shep. What happened? Well, it all started bright and early one morning. Everybody. Dawn ride? Meet at the stables at six? Says so right here on the schedule. Hello? Hey, Molly. Will, how come I'm the only one who showed up for the Dawn ride? Because it got moved to next Tuesday. <sighs> oh, man. Seems like these Horseland schedules are getting harder to keep track of. You can say that again. Ooh, I would, but I'm too sleepy. Well, something has to be done. Like what? Like it's time for Horseland to join the 21st century. Like how? Come by the stables in a few hours and you'll see. Thanks for coming, everybody. What's this all about, Molly? You may have noticed, it's getting harder and harder to keep track of everything going on at Horseland. That's for sure. Well, it's time to do something about it. How are we going to do that? We're going to start communicating. We're going to join the 21st century. We're going to have a website. How's that gonna help? We'll post a daily schedule. We'll share up to the minute news and information about Horseland. Sounds like a good idea, Molly. We could even post our own videos. Starring us. And people who aren't near a computer can pick up a daily printout. We could have a comic strip. Maybe Will could do a blog with horse tips? Yeah, I guess I could. We can even give safety tips for using the internet. Yeah, like always ask your mom or dad before going online. And never give out personal information, like your full name and address. Perfect. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's, Let's get do it. it. Because of recent wildfires, this year's meadow ride will take the East Trail. I'll do a story on the Horseland Riding Facilities. The key to dressage is color coordination. Pick the wrong combination and nothing can help. Like, tan and gray are so last season. Triple A rating from the State Riders Association. Dear Sarah, what's the best way to calm a nervous horse? Signed, Concerned. Dear Concerned, your horse won't trust you if you don't trust yourself. Uh, if you let the stirrups get too long, it makes it harder to sit right and control your horse. Harder to sit right and control your horse. Uh, so don't do that. Nice work, Will. Where's our video? It's next. Isn't 
just for writing anymore. So, what do you think? Well, it was, was, uh, um, was... What did it have to do with Horseland? What do you mean? We're part of Horseland, aren't we? It was about us. I think that's the point. The website should be about things that matter to everyone at Horseland. Yeah, yeah, like community interest stories. Well, we can do that. Yeah, we can do community interest. Great. Let's get together tomorrow with new projects. This is going to be great. Can we find community interest stories? How hard can it be? This is hard. Ugh. Too bad there aren't any movie stars living around here. Yeah, that'd make a great story. And you know, there is a star who lives around here. Who? Catrice Claire. Who? Well, she's not a star star, but she helped you make up for a car commercial last year. That's practically a star. Yeah. Who knew that one of the most important people in the movie business was living right next door to Horseland. That's right, a major Hollywood personality, and she has an ultra-secret private getaway right in our own backyard. Hold on, I never heard of any movie stars living around here. Well, duh, that's what makes it an ultra-secret. Who is this person? Yeah, what's her name? Uh, sorry, can't say. Yeah, she made us promise not to tell who she was. Oh, I think I know who it is. You do? Lucy DiCarlo, right? Oh, yeah, Lucy DiCarlo, right. Can we see where she lives? No, we promise to respect her privacy. Right, a reporter's word is important. I'm impressed with your skills as investigative journalists. So what's your next big news story? Oh, just wait and see. Yeah, it's going to top this one by a mile. Come on, tell us. Go on, Zoe. You tell them. Nah, I'll let you. Okay, then I will. It's about a bear that we saw near Horseland. Yeah, a bear uh, earlier today. A bear? Really? I haven't seen a bear around here in a long time. <laughs> well, hey, that's what makes it news, right? A bear? Yeah, a bear, Will, just today. Well, it wasn't a big bear, just a cub, really. A cute little guy. Yeah, a lost cub. That's worse. Why? If we have a lost cub, there's a mother out looking for it. And that could mean trouble. You gotta tell me where you saw it. Well, we didn't exactly quote-unquote see the... Up on Charlton's Ridge! I better check it out. Chloe, you and Zoe should go with Will and get video. I'd love to, Molly, but, um, Pepper has a tender ankle. Yeah, and I'm way behind on my blog. You know, for the website. Well, I'm the editor, so if there's news, I'll go. It's kinda late, but we can head out first thing in the morning. Don't worry, Molly. We'll take good care of the website while you're gone. You can count on us. Let's go and find that bear cub, Molly. Got my camera. So, Zoe, what's tomorrow's lead story? It's got to be bigger than a bear. What about the forest fire? What forest fire? The one rushing down the mountain towards Horseland? What? Where? Well, it was last year. But hey, it'd still make a great story. I guess. All of the details will be true. We'll just have to change the date. This is going to be the most exciting sight on the whole entire absolute web. Whoa, Scarlet! Let's see if my newest blog is posted yet. Dear Sarah, what's the hottest stable around? Hey, that's not what I wrote. What is this? Chloe? Zoe? Yeah, Sarah? 
How did you get a picture of Will and Molly with a bear when they just left to go find it? We made it on the computer. Looks pretty good, huh? But it's dishonest. Look, Sarah, nobody's gonna read this website if it's dull. Look at the hits. We've more than doubled our readers since the changes. But you're lying. Sarah, you don't understand the news business. It's not about telling the truth. It's about getting a big audience. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Kind of steep through here. No one said reporting the news would be easy. This is where they said, but there are no tracks. Hey! Molly! Will! Hold on! <gasps> Molly, don't move! We're okay, Will. Ow! Can you bend it? A little. Well, it doesn't feel broken, but we better get you to a doctor to make sure. Molly! What happened? Just a sprain, I hope. Did you find the bear? No, we didn't see anything. Maybe it was just a big raccoon we saw. Yeah, a squirrel or whatever. Come here, you have to see this. The website traffic has tripled! Bears? Fires? What, what have you done here? These stories aren't real. They're not true. Hey! They're mostly true. This isn't right. When I get back from the doctor, we'll talk. All our hard work and nobody appreciates it. While Molly's away, we'll get some stories so big nobody can give us grief. Look at that puppy digging holes everywhere. <laughs> He's worse than a gopher. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, we're thinking it. Come on, let's go. What are they up to? I don't know, but I doubt it's any good. <laughs> I still can't believe some of the stories they posted. You're going to have to set things right. I know, but at least their tales were sort of harmless. Will! Molly! What's up, Sarah? There's trouble at Horseland! What's wrong? Just come on, now! Let's go! What's the State Riders Association doing here? All they'd say is there's some violation. Hold on. They want us to wait out here. For what? There's some people from the State Riders Association here. They're inspecting the place for safety violations. Horseland could lose its AAA rating. The whole place might close. Are you serious, Bailey? If the rating falls below C, the association will move the horses to another ranch. <gasps> this is so unfair. They can't do this. It's not like there are really any safety problems at Horseland. Yeah? How would you know? Oh, well, we just know. This is the safest place on the planet. So why would this breaking news be on our site? Fences are an important part of a stable, but poor maintenance turns them into accidents waiting to happen. Golfer holes. To a horse, they mean a twisted ankle. To a rider, disaster. Whoa, whoa, Horseland is not like that. People looking at the website don't know that. 
Someone out there called the Writers Association. Looks like someone's been busy working overtime on our website. Well, um, we didn't mean to cause a problem. We just uh, exaggerated things a little. A little? A little lot. How'd you make the place look so bad? With the rusty nail and the scrap heap. It wasn't on any fence. And let me guess, you dug the gopher holes yourselves. Yeah, and it took forever. Chloe, you know the horses could have been hurt. Hey, we were going to fill them back in when those inspector people showed up. This is bad. It's hard to fix a reputation once it's been damaged. We never dreamed we'd cause harm to Horseland. It's just, the bigger the story was, the more interested people were. We'd do anything to fix this, but we don't know what to do. <laughs> ah! Hey, careful, Calypso. That costs a lot of money. I have an idea how to fix this. How's that? The same way it started, with the news report. This time, a true one. Can I borrow this? Well, I guess if you're careful. Come on, you two. It's time to set the record straight. Okay, guys, I finished. See what you think. a horseland report to show you how easy it is to manipulate reality. Only telling part of the story is not the same as telling the real story. Concern was raised about broken fences. But the fences around horseland are fine. And the gopher holes? Gopher holes. To a horse, they mean a twisted ankle. To a rider, disaster. Looks like the gophers got a bad rap. Those holes were dug by humans. Exciting stories get people's attention. But it takes the truth to get their trust. Yeah, and the truth is, Horseland is totally safe. So safe that we thought it was boring. We are sorry for misleading everyone. It's a good thing the Writers Association agreed to look at the webcast. I can't believe how dirty I got filling those phony gopher holes. Dirty? I actually, ugh, sweated. Hey, I won't bend the truth ever again because I never again want to go through that. Hey, at least you got some good screen time. And at least Horseland got its good name back. That's yeah, what cat you that's betcha. for sure. Finally. So you see, Angora, you bend the truth, you'll break it. And truth is a mighty precious thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Teeny, copy, can you forgive me? Oh, of course we do. <gasps> hey, look over there. Now there's a leaf pile that's honestly deep enough to jump in. Oh boy! Oh boy! I can't wait to try it! <laughs> hey! Wait for me! I want to jump in it too! Hey! Watch it, pig. What do you think you're doing? Angora! Guess that'll do it from here. See you around. Hey, save some of that leaf jumping fun for me. i
Janela.